हेलो एवरीवन इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिराइव योर डिसिक इक्वेशन द इक्वेशन फॉर द स्ट्रेटेस्ट अवेलेबल पाथ ऑन अ कर्व्ड मैनीफोल्ड इज कॉल्ड द जो डिसिक इक्वेशन मीन्स वी हैव अ कर्व्ड मैनीफोल्ड एंड द इक्वेशन फॉर द स्ट्रेटेस्ट अवेलेबल पाथ और यू कैन से द शोर्टेस्ट अवेलेबल पाथ ऑन दैट मैनीफोल्ड इज कॉल्ड द जो डिसिक इक्वेशन टू प्रूव इट लेट एस कंसिडर द पाथ ऑफ मिनिमम मार्क लेंथ लेट एस कंसिडर देर इज अ पाथ बिटवीन पॉइंट्स ए एंड बी and we are saying that we are considering the path of minimum arc length means its arc length is minimum now we require a path such that sab the arc length between two points a and b is minimum that is sab is equal to this one now we require this arc length to be minimum so we uh, take delta variations on both side as you know we are taking delta means there is a very small change so that is equal to 0 and it can be written as this one now we know that the line element can be written as this if i take d s square in the denominator of these two then we will get x dot a x dot b uh, you can uh, treat it as a similar way that um, like for example you have a variable x and you are taking its derivative with respect to time and you are saying that it is actually a velocity okay so you will he get here x dot a and x dot b like this one now gab is actually a function of its coordinates and we are representing its coordinate as xc now we consider it as a lagrangian to prove the given equation or the geodesic equation we are using actually the lagrangian approach okay uh, and we will use here the eulers lagrange equation If we consider it as a Lagrangian, then I can write L is equal to G A B X C X dot A and X dot B, and we know that the Euler-Lagrange equation is given by this one, d by d s partial L over partial X dot D and partial L over partial X D. Okay. Now, if we take its right hand side, means this one, means we want to take the partial derivative of L with respect to X D. so i can write over here that gab means the partial derivative of gab with respect to d and x dot a x dot b as it is okay because uh, it does not involve the um, derivative of x dots okay so here the partial derivative of only gab will will be involved okay now if we take the left hand side of this equation like d by ds into partial l over partial x dot d means first of all we will take the partial derivative with respect to x dot d now students as you know over here we uh, in a lagrangian we have x dot a and x dot b so we will use here the product rule but when we will use product rule then you know that first function as it is the partial derivative with respect to second function and second as it is and derivative with respect to first first okay now when we take the partial uh, if we consider x dot a as it is and we take the partial derivative with respect to x dot b then we will get this one okay or um, actually this is actually the representation of the partial derivative with respect to uh sorry it's a mistake over here here it is a uh, gdb x dot of b and gad x dot of a okay now it is the correct one means when we take the partial means we if we treat x dot b as it is and take the partial derivative with respect to a then we will get this one because we are taking partial derivative partial by partial x dot d of x dot a and all of these terms are as it is now this term will give us the value 1 when a is equal to d means i am using the uh, uh, definition of kronecker delta okay now you know that these two indices means the lower index in uh, gad and uh, the upper index in delta is are the same so i can replace uh, it as like these are the same or by using the summation convention we can uh, ignore them and we can write it as g b d and x dot b in a similar manner we can solve for this one now students here i have find the value for partial l by partial x dot d now we need the value of d by dx of this function okay now if i apply d by ds on partial l by partial x dot d then we will get 
means actually d by dx you can treat it as like the time derivative so here you will get x double dot b means first of all you have to apply a d by ds on these x dot a and x dot b and then also on your g's okay so here g a b as it is and the derivative of x dot b so you will get x double dot b and similar way you will get x double dot a plus d by ds g db that is this value x dot b as it is plus d by ds of g a d and x dot a as it is and say this is equation number four but students we know that if we want to take the part, uh, derivative of this function or sorry uh, i i shouldn't say function in fact this uh, metric g d b then uh, we will use a chain rule over here and then we will get this one and in a similar way we can find the value of this uh, this quantity okay and we say this is equation number 5 and 6 now if we use equation number 5 and 6 into equation number 4 like the values of these two terms here then we will get equation number 7 okay and then using 3 and 7 into 2 means if we use the equation or use the values of part, uh, this one like d by ds partial l over partial x dot d and partial l over partial x d in the island lagrange equation then we will get this one okay now students if we simplify it further and take this quantity on the left hand side then we are left with this and if we multiply both sides by 1 by 2 gcd then we will get this one you know here there was an uh, um, there is a 2 so 1 by 2 and 2 will be cancelled out with each other now we know that here we have gcd and gad and d is a dummy variable and uh, we can use the definition of Kronecker delta again and uh, here we will get delta c a and here a and a are the same so by using summation convention we uh, we can write it as x double dot c and uh, and actually it is the definition of the connection symbol or you can say the Christopher symbols so this is equal to zero and this is actually the geodesic equation and this is the path of the minimum arc length is the uh, straightest available path in a manifold okay and this is the shortest distance on a given manifold you can say so student this is all about this lecture where we have derived the geodesic equation thank you so much